Hello there, this is Nikao John Guy Talk once again. How are you doing? Hope you are doing good. I'm doing great over here. Um, now I want to say a big welcome to everyone who is um, a fresh subscriber. Yay! I'm excited that you have um, come in. Please encourage others to come and also subscribe. Now remember to like this video, share this video. Remember to like and uh, ask questions and comment um, on this video. Now, I want to share on what happened on the third day when Jesus rose from the dead. Um, remember this, that Jesus' spirit and soul went to hell um, after he died on the cross. And he was there suffering for the sins of humanity for a solid three days and three nights. And that was what God prophesied. God said, just like Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three solid days and nights, so will the Lord Jesus be in the belly of the earth. He's talking about in hell for three solid days and three nights. So that was exactly what happened. But on the third day, after divine justice has been served and met for the sins of Adam and the sins of humanity, the Lord God sent the Holy Spirit came from heaven went through the earth went under the earth and he quickened Jesus Christ the Bible says that if the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you so we know that it was the spirit of God that raised Christ from the dead um, he will also give life to your mortal body Jesus was raised by the glory of the Father so the glorious Holy Spirit in the glory of God went into the hell and he raised Jesus. And the Bible says Jesus Christ put off, spoiled principalities and powers. And he made a public show of them. So Jesus threw off Satan, all of his courts that were holding him down in hell, destroyed them, collected the keys of death, hell and the grave. And they made a public show of them triumphing over it, over them in it. Paraded Satan, defeated. And they stripped him of all the authority that Satan collected um, in the Garden of Eden from Adam. When Adam handed over this planet over to him, Jesus collected it back. And now that power is reserved for us. That's why Jesus Christ said, all authority all in heaven and on earth has been given to me. He said, now go ye therefore. In other words, I give it to you. And it is the, it is the authority, it is the uh, power of atoning. He gives us to rule and to reign in that same power. So Jesus resurrected, but guess what? The word of God says that we have been quickened together, made alive together with Christ. You're going to see that in Ephesians chapter 1 and Ephesians chapter 2. So when Jesus was raised from the dead and the enemy could not hold him bound, you and I have been raised from the dead if we belong to Jesus and the enemy cannot hold us bound. And you must keep that in mind. Remember this all the time. That we are no longer under the dominion of the devil. What does that mean? That means that all the forces of darkness, the power of hell that used to be under, over our head, they are now under our feet. What used to be over your head is now under your feet. When Jesus on the third day was raised from the dead, you have been raised from the dead, from the power of death, from the power of the enemy. You've been raised from the dominion of, um, of sickness, disease, sin ruling over you. Sin shall not have dominion over you. You have been quickened. So freedom is yours and uh, deliverance is yours and authority is yours as a believer. Keep that in mind. Rule and reign in Christ. Do not think that um, uh, I'm powerless here on earth. Listen, if you are in Christ, you are not powerless. If you are in Christ, you have the victory. If you are in Christ, Satan knows it, that he is now under your feet. He is the footmat. He is your footmat. Now, if you have a footmat that's in the front of your house that says, Welcome, and then you rub your legs on it, your soles and your heels on it, that is the devil's head. That is your position now. You have been resurrected, raised up together with Christ. Identify with him in your mind. Believe it. Act like it. Talk like it. God will back you fully.
because that is the truth and the reality when jesus was risen the third day since then you and i have been quickened with christ to rule and to reign all right then what do you think about that share think about it meditate on it speak it to yourself picture yourself with it it is your portion in jesus name amen and amen now i want you to like this video share this video i want you to comment on this video and please if you know people that have not yet subscribed let them subscribe if you're watching this video wherever you are make sure that you also subscribe until i come in my next video this is encourage you saying keep ruling and reigning with christ bye